has the consumer preference totally changed and shifted away from beer? Has the industry made mistakes by not recognizing the craft beer movement? Do you think, generally speaking, this ad campaign by Anheuser-Busch is a good idea? I think that, yes, the taste profile has changed, I think. I think what's happening in beer is the same thing that's happened in coffee and lots of other categories, where people have a different taste profile. And I think that the craft beer movement, obviously, is, uh, I mean, we have pizza and hamburger joints uh, that have their own beer, their own Mary, brands of beer. Mary, he and mentioned the Belgians. People, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Patrick, go ahead. And go people ahead. are making it. Oh, that's okay. And people uh, have, there's, their tastes have shifted, and uh, millennials have different tastes. And, you know, when we're getting our water from Fiji and places like that, uh, in every category, uh, people are looking for more designed things. Don't you think it's a sign of desperation? I mean, I thought their Super Bowl ad, and I'm not an advertising guy, but I thought their Super Bowl ad was a sign of desperation, making fun of people that are drinking craft beers. That ad would never make somebody who drank craft beer stop drinking craft beers. And so I, I didn't get the, the entire point. And so it, it looks to me like that ad and this, where they're just, okay, well, we'll just promote beer in general, is a sign of defeat. Like, well, we're not going to be able to sell more Bud because people don't like it as much, so we're going to try other ways to advertise our brand. I think you're right. I think that uh, by uh, discounting people who are drinking craft beers is not going to attract people who, that segment, uh, to, to Budweiser, certainly. And there is, however, there is a rule of thumb that's in marketing that says that if you own the category, which Bud does, obviously, they're the largest brewer in the world, um, if you own the category and you just talk about the category, all ships rise, including your own. I think the thing is, is that the, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, I'm sorry, I'm just going to jump in here. I have a thought on this because I see let's grab a beer and I see hashtags all over it. So I'm assuming that they aren't even marketing it to people who actually drink beer right now, but to people who may be drinking beer in the next couple of years and maybe the only brand they know very well because it is the biggest brand is Budweiser. So is there some, is there, are they going after a different market at all with this, an even younger market? I, again, I see I think the they're hashtag yeah. I let's think grab they're trying a beer. To become a I think they're trying to become a part of the conversation for sure, uh, which means millennials and a younger market. And the, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but they, just in the, since uh, 2005, I think they went from uh, just over 14% market share to about 8% uh, a couple of years ago. And I didn't really look at the math, haven't done the math, but I think five share points or that many share points in the beer industry is probably about a gazillion dollars. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.